I'm Joel Leonard. You call me the maintenance evangelist here for another edition of Skill TV in Chicago at the National uh, Competitive Summit here in Chicago. Uh, National, actually, the American Competitive Summit, right? And I'm here with uh, the president of the Council on Competitiveness, who uh, asked me to serve on the uh, workforce briefing and the Compete 2.0 challenge report. And, uh, and took me to the Senate a couple of weeks ago. So I'm delighted to see you again, and it's good to have you. And it's great to have a chance to interview you and candidly here. I just want to have some discussion here. But uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on you participated in this morning's panel, and, and I wanted you to, what do you think about all the discussions that are happening and some of the, the points that were made? Well, I, I, I'm very stimulated and excited today. It feels like so much momentum. I love what you said. You said it is, 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 it's not like the other countries are winning and we're losing. We're actually, it's, it's, it's not a zero sum game. We're actually they're winning, we're winning too. And we could actually build clients, we can build markets and other penetration points that we didn't have in the past. Well, absolutely. Because, you know, as we've heard throughout the day, you know, we have 5% of the world's population. And by 2020, 20, 80% uh, of all consumers will be outside the United States. These are our customers, our partners, our competitors. And now, at the same time, all of us as Americans, we want to make sure that our children and our communities where we live and work have jobs that pay well, and we don't want to compete on our wage and you know, raise the bottom. So that is why it's so important to look at innovation capacity, sustainability, and all the skill training around that to find our future. And, you know, to a lot of the things you have been such a great leader on, it, really defined in a better way. Well, and I appreciate you bringing that up, and again, uh, allowing me to have the opportunity uh, uh, to mobilize that and get that message out. And again, some other people have moved it throughout the day, but, but it definitely is something that is under the radar of most leaders and most resources. And again, what I love about the dialogue that happened today is, is that a lot of people are beginning to recognize that the academic track and the vocational track isn't necessarily one's a winner and the other one's a loser. Uh, it, it, it is a track that are different skill sets and different requirements, and a lot of the vocational tracks need to develop some entrepreneurial capacity because they could be on a pathway in a different uh, sector, maybe in industrial, maybe in engineering, maybe in the service sector and the support and infrastructure side, and they can actually reap the rewards of a, of a, a million dollar business opportunity if they build a foundation in the skills and, and technician level. Well, absolutely. In fact, I think you know, you're linking those skills will be for our country and for our people. Also, we have a lot of opportunities. It's not a very great thing to do. So, you know, I, I know we're concerned about global competition. You know, one of the other important things we discussed uh, today is this country cannot turn its back. And, and trying to turn the clock back and say, hey, yeah, it, it, it's the rules have changed, the, the world's changed, and we got to adapt or we're perished. And, and we have very, you know, dedicated, great people. And maybe we need to come up with a new word for vocational training. That seems to be a word in the past. So I'm going to challenge you to <laughs> come up with what's a new, uh, new dynamic to how we describe you know, what's going well, you know, in our it, system. I would love to incorporate the term thrive into that word, whatever that is. I'm not going to spin it off the top of my, my membranes right now, but we'll try to come Next up with it. Next time we talk. That's my challenge. All right. Thanks for giving me some homework. Thank, thank, thank you for your national leadership. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for your leadership and your, uh, again, being out there trumpeting the, the challenges and making America be aware. I love, uh, again, Laura and Maria brought up and said, that's not a part of the national conversation yet. You've been helping bubble that up. 
enough. Thank you. And thank you again for giving me the opportunity to participate in this dialogue. And it's quite an honor to have you on Skill TV. Thank you.